Welcome to my art studio, guys. I'm a full-time artist and this is where I create all of my work, both for to sell at conventions and also I'm a digital artist where I make a lot of content here on YouTube and this is where I film as well. I wanted to show you guys a full tour of this room since this is where I get all my stuff done. Start by the door and this wall right here. When you first enter my office, you see this little section full of all my bags. This is a tote bag that I made myself of Sailor Neptune. This is something I got on Amazon. This is a little tote bag that I got on AliExpress. If it's my iPad and my other tablets, like the Samsung Tab S7, I have a mask right there. And when you turn around to this corner, um, it's more of this little nook. I have this Minecraft sword that I took from my roommate, another bag. And if you go down right here, I have this ring where I use it for Ring Fit, which is this fit workout game for the Nintendo Switch. I put it right there. And then if you go down further more, I have this little easel thing for the iPad that I can't wait to show you guys soon in another video. Um, it's great for drawing on. And if you turn a little bit over here to the back of my door, I have more knickknacks, mostly my jackets, scarves, and other hats that I got just so that I can easily get it when I'm heading out. And when you turn over here, this is another little area where I kind of get ready and I really like this. I got this mirror from Five and Below and I just have a bunch of little knickknacks on it. I have this little chopper purse that I got as a gift um, a while back. And um, over here, I have Detective Pikachu that I got from Five and Below this. I got a good deal on it on Goodwill and this little shelf I got on Facebook Marketplace and I just have more little knickknacks. I have this little Insta film camera because I really like the pastel blue color and I can easily get it. Um, some more decoration that I mostly got at Dollar Tree or Five and Below like uh, this red go plush I'm, I really like Red's go even though I'm not a big fan of the newest season and down here is like a little mess but I have this plug for one of my lights so that I can easily plug it in and then just put it back out of the way and some more little knickknacks and now we enter the closet in my studio where I mostly store a lot of filming equipment since I do not like my office to be super cluttered. So in there I mostly keep a lot of lights, other tripods, different camera bags, and I also keep my coats in there as well since it's been really cold here in the winter. And I also have a little card in there for more filming equipment as well as some miscellaneous decorations. And I also keep stuff from my online art store that I need to sell like extra paper, um, ink, and any of those miscellaneous items as well as other things that I need to review up there. I have a lot of boxes in there and uh, it's so great having a closet for all of my junk. As we turn from my closet, this is the intro to my setup part of my studio where I have a lot of my desk equipment. I made a whole separate video on that, but let me go over it briefly since there were some slight changes. Um, number one, I got a new lamp from BenQ. BenQ sent me uh, this version of their lamp and I've been a big fan of BenQ. I've worked with them in the past. They sent me actually this other lamp and I've been in love with it since this one, it could extend a lot more. It can easily rotate. Look at it guys. I'm trying to get all of it in frame, but it's kind of hard to do that while I'm holding the camera but look look as I turn the base oh I like it and it, it, it has different dimmable switches that's why I really like the BenQ it can go from warm light and if you hold on it it can adjust the lighting based on the room and the reason I like this one more because um, especially since I started streaming a lot recently it makes it so much easier for me to get a lot of coverage in my desk and that brings us to our next addition to my desk setup is this little arm clamp right here it helps me stream and it's been amazing I use it with my um, DSLR camera the Sony a6400 I have it on this quick release uh, clamp where I can easily remove it and it just makes my my job a lot easier and I can really easily adjust this. I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that. Um, I showed it off on my story but I wanted to geek about it again since that's a huge part of my income being able to film my drawing without having a lot of things get in the way. I did have another horizontal mount tripod but it took 
so much space. As you guys can see, this room is still fairly small. I cannot have many things in here. Granted, I have like three chairs in here, but I do have my reasons because it's it's convenient when I'm running a whole lot of things in here to have stuff to hold on to. But I really like the stand because it doesn't take up space. It, uh, it clamps to my sturdy desk and it makes filming much easier. And the rest of the item on my setup is pretty much the same as the last video. So if you guys are interested, check it out right here in the pop-up card. And now we get to the other fun part of my studio where I draw traditionally and make merch and the other part where you guys haven't seen yet. Um, I really like this table. This is a folding table that I got a, a while ago and I try to keep this desk mainly clear and I have the other BenQ lamp right there. Um, BenQ is not sponsoring this video. Um, I just really like their product. They did send both of those lamps to me for free and for the most part a lot of the stuff I get in this room were sent to me for free like this chair I covered in the main setup video but I like having two chairs one because this is a little bit more ergonomic depending on what I'm doing when I'm at the computer for long periods of time I prefer to use this one um, if I'm just on this table where I'm just packing orders or different items or making things I like to sit more on this chair and the other aspect of this setup is I have a lot of little knickknacks. I have my Google Home Mini right here so I can easily play music. I have this little plushie right there. And I have this little chair that's supposed to hold my phone, but my phones are too big for that. And back there, I have these RGB lights, um, things that I can easily like move. Um, the reason I have them is mostly for videos. I need to make this part aesthetic since that's also another area where I need to film. And right on top of that, I have like this little whiteboard, not whiteboard, board chalkboard that I got from five and below I have a rough I rough idea of like my week it's not always like that but it helps to just easily look at and some more little knickknack I have some Pokemon I don't know where I got this from another little knickknack I probably got that at Dollar Tree and when you pan up I have this little whiteboard that I got at Walmart and I actually painted uh, the the border to be this teal color since I really I think it'll it match the room really, really well. This desk area is where I do a lot of my planning, so I definitely want it to look super cozy since I do get super overwhelmed a lot of the time. I like to dump everything on my mind onto this whiteboard. I have these little magnets that I made myself of, of Anya, and this one is from um, Konosuba. I'll have these up on for pre orders my online store pretty soon, and I just like having those on there. And, near this area this is where i have all my my, my pens and um erasable markers as well oh my gosh i keep dropping that and i still have these grid system that i got from amazon i mostly used them for artist alleys but i ended up like i thought it was really nice to hang up in my room the fake plants are from dollar tree and i hanged it up right there i went teal is like my favorite color i don't know if that's super obvious so i try to like have it match and be symmetrical and the little cloud mirrors I also got at um, Dollar Tree um, these I got from um, Michaels and I thought they were really a cute cute way to spice up on the setup um, same thing with that sign I got from Dollar Tree for the most part I get a lot of my knickknacks from Dollar Tree and I try not to have it super cluttered um, even though it does look crazy but this is the more chaotic side of the room and another um, new aspect that I got recently is this drawer system from Costway. They sent this to me for free. They're currently having a sale on it and it's been a huge changer in this room being able to store a lot of my equipment and art supplies. Um, the closet was not enough for my um, film equipment so I have some of the more accessible ones in here and then the second drawer I have some more art supplies mostly more watercolor supplies because I love watercolors. In here I mostly have stuff from my online store like mouse pads and down there I have more supplies for my online store which is a lot of paper and more things since uh, again the closet is not enough and the reason I really like this one because I like the wood top it also matches really well with this with, with my desk right here and gives me a lot of counter space because um, on top of here I do have a spray bottle it's really good for watercolors and also being able to clear my um, this um, chalkboard as well as my other to-do list chalkboard where, where I covered a little bit more in my setup tour video I have a washi tape dispenser right here which is nice when I'm journaling and I have my ink in uh, I have this glow that I also got from Five and Below. I have this huge anime poster of Cartoon Tip Sak Sakura that I got from this anime store in Miami. And now for the equipment wall side of my studio. This side of the wall, I decided to keep it mostly empty because I'm thinking about just 
getting a projector and just using that as a way to just watch things. And also um, my ceilings are super high, so I didn't know what's the best way to style this wall. Since it's already like super busy at the bottom, I didn't want to overwhelm it by putting more stuff. Like these other two walls, they have like purposes where I get creative and this is where I create content. But over here is mostly like the production line. So I, I didn't have a lot of room to work with. So I went simple in terms of the decor. And so let's start over here. All right, a quick overview of this shelf. I got it at Walmart. I like it because I could hold my giant printer, my Cricut and my silhouette. And basically the silhouette and the Cricut, they're both cutting machines for stickers. And that's what I use for my stickers. I really like the Cricut much better. I started off with the silhouette, but I couldn't get it to work. Um, I still have it as a backup in case I get a lot of production in. And I, st um, I still wanna try to figure it out in case there's anything wrong with this baby. I have another brand that I can try. I have this tiny little scale of, um, to weigh packages. And on top of here, I have a lot of mats for both my silhouette and my Cricut, as well as um, some stuff to work my heat press. And that's where I make a lot of merch per se, but let's focus on the shelf. I'll get back to that one right there. Um, I have this little killer display where I keep my mini prints. Um, I mostly, I do a lot of conventions, so I normally just keep them there and I try to use it as a way to decorate the side of the wall. Um, even this um, little thing, I use it to hold my mugs on my conventions, but I thought it was really cute to put one of my headphones on there. I'm like, oh, it could be used as a headphone stand. I also like spray painted this teal. Again, teal and blue are my favorite colors. So I try to get a lot of the equipment in that color to spice up this area. So um, I got my Cricut, uh, use on Facebook Marketplace. But the same thing with the silhouettes. I was able to get them for $100 compared to this retails for $200, um, $200 as well. So that would have been super expensive for me. So I got them used and I keep a lot of um, chalk in there as well as other equipment to help me peel off my sticker. And this little thing is a super jumbo uh, tape dispenser um, for heat resistance tape for to work with alongside my heat press since I do make a lot of merch at home. And over here, I have this round corner um, thing to round off the corners of my stickers. Um, another device to peel stickers with. Um, more rulers and cutting machines. And right here, this is my big printer where I do a lot of my big prints. It's the Canon um, Pixma. This is, I'll put the exact model on the screen right there. And I love this thing for printing out huge prints because um, I have my huge prints over here on the side on this big display because again I, I mostly sell out a, a lot of my art at anime conventions. This printer is amazing for that. It can print up to 13 by 19 inches which is awesome. Right next to it I have all of my ink uh, for my other printer actually, not for this one, because this one uses a different type of ink. And on the bottom shelf, I have this drawer that has a lot of blanks, because um, I do, like the tote bag that you guys saw at the, the beginning, I made that myself. So this is where um, I have a lot of my blanks um, for it as well as I'm trying to test out to see how it's like making hats since my heat press does come with like attachment for that. So the main attachment that I use a lot is the mug attachment since I do make mugs of my art in it. Um, I could show you guys a snippet right here. And so that's where I keep all of that extra equipment. And in the center of it all, I have my giant heat press. It's not that big, I got it on Amazon. I love the teal color. This baby basically powers all of the other merch that I make uh, with my art. You guys can check out these examples right here, the cool stuff I've done with it. I'm not exactly thrilled of this placement right here between these two shelves, but it's convenient for me because the printer that I use to work with this is right there. All I gotta do is pull it forward and I still have so much space on each side. So love this thing. On top of my heat press, I have my heat resistant gloves that I use with it which is super convenient to have it right there and then we get to my beautiful shelf um uh, let's start with this side um i have this spinning thingy full of tools mostly box cutters scissors and other random knickknacks and i normally use this at conventions but i've been using it for tools and then right here we have these little magnetic tins from dollar tree that i hold my stickers in for now and then i have some miscellaneous items over here like paints and thumbtacks and then 
my second favorite, one of my favorite tools that I love using is this cutter. Again, I really love teal and I love that this cutter came in teal and also it has a round puncher built in. I love this thing a lot. I use it all in a lot of projects. And then on top, I have more of those uh, clear displays. I did a recent tabling um, where <laughs> I have some prices on there. But yeah, I keep mini prints and in these other ones, I keep tidy notebooks that I also make myself. You guys can check out these reels that I made of it or YouTube shorts, more tiny notebooks. And I thought that was a nice way to display them. All of these are my own artwork. And then I have this little display thing that normally has my business card. And then on this shelf, we have the main um, printer where I use to print my art merch using a process called sublimation. So this is the Epson Eco Tank, And I don't know if I recommend this one. It gives me so much trouble, but it's so great on ink. I, 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 I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. And then on this side, I have paper. I, ha I got these like teal things from Dollar Tree. I hold a lot of different types of paper and in there I, I don't even want to go in because it's super messy since it's like Dollar Tree can easily collapse. And then on this shelf, uh, starting over here, I have my notebook making machine. This is the Cinch book binding machine. Um, I love this thing. I got to use on Facebook Marketplace. It's awesome. I have some more supplies in this box, which is mostly chipboards prints and stuff for making notebooks. This is a scrap shelf on the top of misprints and things I need to finish or miscuts. And down here, I just have more paper, some sticker paper. I have my laminator machine. It can laminate up to 13 by 19, which works amazing with my giant printer for my giant prints. I'm hoping I can laminate my giant prints in the future. Um, I have giant sleeves for my giant prints. I have my giant paper. And here is some more additional supplies. Um, um, like blanks to make stuff with my artwork like mouse pads, face masks, and some other items. And some more blanks in here, but more tiny items like keychains. Um, there's so much stuff in here. I don't want to open it up and go through all of it. And some more stuff for the online store in this bottom shelf. I got this LED mask from Five and Below and it's powered up by battery. I have it up here for now, but I feel like it doesn't completely match another random stuff I got from Five and Below. I snatched this Guntama uh, plush from Five and Below the other day as well. And it's just so cute. And then another final find is this Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Dark Medition Girl uh, pl um, pillow. And I thought like, it's so cute, man. Five and Low is such a clutch sometimes, guys. If you enjoyed this video, check out this playlist right here to see my setup throughout the years.